We wanted to have a fun and engaging activity. that was directly related to the sciences and specifically tied in DODIA's big thrust this year is with that STEM program, uh, the STEM philosophy, uh, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But what can we do with an 11, 12, 13 year old student? We can get them excited about math and science and technology and engineering. So this project brings everything together into one little packet where they have an engaging activity that they have to design from their own understanding and based on information they get from the classroom, a device that will support a pumpkin you know, uh, in a drop. Looking at the science, looking at the, the mathematics of the calculation of the drop, the amount of material, the weight of a pumpkin, all that's going to be critical in, uh, in as they analyze all this together and hopefully get them excited about what they're doing. Well, since the fifth grade standards align to the eighth grade science standards, we decided to work with another uh, fifth grade class. And they had to teach the fifth graders how uh, potential energy, kinetic energy, laws of motion, forces of motion, um, all of that works together and then design a contraption to protect a pumpkin when dropped from a cherry picker. So they've been working for the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. They each brought in boxes, each group brought in a box, and they chose different materials to put in the box like... Lots of paper! Paper? Lots of paper. And a blanket. Blanket. That pillow stuff. And we have a sleeping bag. A um, pillow? Okay. Pillows. We have like jello and. Some had jello. You guys are using marshmallows? Yeah. Marshmallows. Yeah. marshmallows. Yeah. marshmallows. Yeah. Eight loaves of bread, yep. And then that. Um, someone thought of spaghetti but decided that would be too messy. Uh, and we have Texas toast. toast. That is very yeah. yummy when it is not moldy. Yeah. Connor ate. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited for them because they really worked well together. The 8th graders and the 5th grade pairing was amazing to watch. It really was. They they came up with great ideas. They worked well together. Yeah, oh, well, I'll tell you, I, the, the parachute one was the first one that actually uh, was successful without the pumpkin breaking. Whether it was the parachute itself or not, I, I don't know. But um, it did inflate a bit. <laughs> Um, but uh, it, it certainly uh, helped the pumpkin survive. Uh, we dropped five uh, with the student contraptions uh, today, and two out of the five designs worked. Well, we are going to analyze the data. We're going to analyze um, the video, and they're going to do some calculations. They're going to um, extrapolate the data and see what they could have done differently, what they can do better next time. So they're going to get to uh, apply what they saw today. Even the fifth graders are coming to us every day saying, when do we get to you know, come to your class? And when, you know, and my eighth graders are like, these are our fifth graders, so when do we get to see our fifth graders? So they've, they've actually developed you know, a little bit of mentorship there, so it's, it was successful.